Hey Hello. everyone, hey, welcome again to the Vardin Studios and warm welcome to another Vardin webinar series. This time we actually are able to give out something for free. That's always what we like. So this is actually the announcement of the uh, free support week that we're going to arrange this week, starting now. And uh, well, to the, make the long story short, this is the week when you can get free support from Vardin maintenance team. So I'm here, I'm Bill Lengman. And I'm here with Tatu Lund. Yes. Hello, yeah. I'm Tatu. And uh, we're going to talk, talk you through this. So uh, after the webinar, I'll, I'll you know, go ahead a bit. After the webinar, we're going to send out uh, emails to all of the webinar audience, to you guys. And uh, there's going to be a link where you can sign up for the free support. And also we're going to publish a blog post where you can also find the links to do all the signups and everything. But this is, uh, this is something that I'm actually really interested in because the, uh, the Vardin support has been get getting really good reviews, really good ratings from the customers at all times. So I think it was, was like 4.8 It's, it's, it's out of over five. 4. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is interesting because as an open source framework, you can always get you know, various kind of, uh, of assistance from the Vardin discussion forums or Stack Overflow or something, but still the Vardin support is really getting good reviews all the time. I'm heading the uh, support and maintenance team uh, in Vardin and, and in addition to me we are something like seven, seven persons there downstairs and uh, doing all, all kinds of uh, uh, different kind of jobs there. Mm, of course. Yeah. To support, support and actually it's a very interesting Actually, it's one of the most interesting parts uh, to work in, in Vardin in the sense that we, we are uh, in direct uh, contact uh, with customers and uh, we see all kinds of uh, technologies. And yeah, I think that's, that's, really, that's really good. I think the, uh, one of the good factors for, for the support, the Vardin support working that great, getting such a good ratings is that you guys actually work with customer projects every day. Yes. Yes. Pretty much the whole customer base that Vardin has. Yes, that's and awesome. we have and we have so different customers. That's good. That's good. But hey, let's let's jump to the whole. So, what is the Vardin support in the first place? You know, of course, there is the Vardin support available, but you know, there are different options here. So, what are these actually? So, we can see that okay, it's silver, gold, platinum. But could you start to tell us a bit? You know, what's the difference between these? What these actually have? Included. Actually, I would first say that what is common to all of these, yeah. uh, and I, I would say that it's called, I would call them micro consultation. Okay. So uh, it's an ideal product product for that kind of a service when you you when we are not talking about long uh, software project, mm -hmm. but all kinds of uh, small tasks. Okay. You have questions related to various topics, or you need to outsource small jobs. Mm, like right. which are si uh, size from few man hours to few man days mm, okay. uh, something in that range uh, and when you when the, the need for that kind of a support is occasional mm. uh, you need, need it once a month twice a month once a week uh, so something little okay. but you don't need a full time uh, uh, project team so the, then the, this is some kind of ideal offering Okay, so basically this, you know, the support could be kind of the additional team member when you need it, something yeah. like that. On demand. On demand. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. All right. And we okay, so, so the entry level is obviously silver. So, yes. so what what's comes, comes with the silver package? With the silver package, we, in the standard package, we have uh, 15 hours mm -hmm. support quota yeah. and two, two days response time. Uh, and basically, that's that. It's kind of it's very simple, basically. Okay. Product. Okay. Sounds good. So this is the kind of easiest way to get yeah. help. So what would be? And can, it, can you say? And if this? you need more yeah. hours, yeah. Uh, 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 it's possible also to uh, increase the quota. So you can buy si silver plus additional hours with extra fee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course. So so what what can you somehow describe? You know, what's a typical silver support customer that we have? What uh, kind of Customers I, I or, or the, companies are using it. There, there are a couple of uh, uh, prototype ca cases that we, we have uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, also companies who are in the 
kind of the early phase of Vanin adoption. Okay. For okay. example, companies who have first uh, used our uh, course services and uh, yeah. so, so forth, and uh, and then then start the, the first project uh, and need uh, some sort of uh, men mentoring on, right, on occasional right. basis just, on that. Okay, that or, sounds good. Or, or something related to the early phase of the project. Mm, like, you know, they want to validate maybe their yeah. own decisions or ideas, you know, whether it makes sense yeah. or not or things but, like that. But we have also some customers who are uh, silver customers uh, who have first bought a consultation project from us. We mm. have delivered them a software pro project or uh, uh, been involved in that and then they need kind of a kind of aftercare service. Right, right. So okay. kind of both. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Okay, so the next up is the gold option. I think this is the most uh, popular one, I guess. So, uh, yes. so what's what's the difference in the gold package? What comes? Obviously, well, there's something more in it. Yes, well, there's uh, in def uh, default configuration. There's more hours, 25 hours uh, included. Again, more can be bought separately mm -hmm. on, on top of on top of that if needed. Uh, and then, ad additionally, gold support has one day response time. So. It, if needs are, the occasional needs are urgent, uh, so we, we can respond faster. And then it includes also feature what we call bug fix priority, which means that you have a one bug fix fault. Okay. So when we are, so you can uh, increase the priority of the uh, bugs to be fixed, and then there's feature voting also. That's why there's the flag. Mm, okay. <laughs> that so so, that. so yeah, it gives you also kind of a uh, path to influence. Mm. So, so we, we want to uh, give premium service for our commercial partners. Right, so, right. so the feature voting also gives some influence to what features we select to uh, next framework uh, releases. So mm. if we see that there's a lot of bolts on cer certain features, uh, which are documented in our uh, uh, mm. uh the ticketing system, uh, uh, we of course uh, give more weight on that. Okay, okay. So the bug fix priority means, you know, what does that cover? So it means if you find a bug from the Vadim framework, does it cover all the other, the pro add-ons as well, or what does it cover? Uh, it, yes, all our, uh, uh, pr uh, Pro Tools product also, so it covers yeah. also spreadsheet and charts and so forth. So, okay. but okay. fixed priority is uh, applicable for those also. Okay, awesome. And even in more urgent cases, that the, if the bug fixed priority is not enough, of course, bugs can be fixed uh, using your support hours too. So mm -hmm. that's always also an option. So okay. that's an additional additional option is bug fixed priority. Mm. Okay. And when you see see that this actually uh, very much minor issues reported in uh, uh, in one in framework, uh, which probably will be never addressed. But mm. with the bug fixed priority, those will be eventually addressed. Okay. Okay. So basically, in the gold gold packets, you response, you promise a response a bit yeah. earlier. You get more hours. Yeah. You get the bug fixed priority, yeah. and also yeah. you can vote for features. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. it's really about co-creation. Right. So that also that that is a, one of the mechanisms that we want that the if there's issues in what in framework or our mm. products, yeah. that those issues that are really uh, the pain points for our customers, that those will be fixed first. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, I guess I guess you know we are pretty much the only ones who can fix such an issue if a product yes. hits a bucket in, in the product. We have the bounty program, but of course, the, most of the fixes need so much uh, mm, right. inside knowledge okay. uh, that it's pretty much up to us. Okay, okay, sounds good. So, um, so what's the last one, the platinum packet? So what's, what's more, what's, what changes here? The, what the, cha the change is that we provide one hour response time on office hour, uh, either in US uh, US time zone or Finnish time zone currently, yeah. so that that's the limitation there. Okay. But, and then even more ample quota of hours there uh, mm. for disposal. Otherwise, the features are pretty much the same as with gold. Okay. So there we want to address our corporate customers, larger companies, and those those who are using Vardin in the 
what I would call kind of mission critical right, right. applications. So, yeah. Like where, yeah, I get it. So basically where you might need an instant response. Yeah. yeah. Of, of course, in one hour we cannot fix any, anything, but anyway we can, we can start working on that er, yeah. early and address. And in, okay. in that kind of typical cases, we want, want to first find the workaround so that there's a, a, a patch that a customer can live with and then later a yeah. proper fix. Okay, okay, but basically the, uh, in the Platinum version, the instant help, we immediately start working together with the customer if there's yeah. some issue, maybe in a, I don't know, library upgrade or something yeah. in a missing yes. critical system, things like that. Okay, makes sense. Um, actually, next up I thought well, maybe we should show, show the audience how this whole thing actually works. So I can, I can play the, uh, the customer, I have some yeah. questions maybe, and yeah. you can you know, be on the other side, yeah. how it actually looks like. So when you guys take the, uh, the free support for Vardin, you're going to get a join link via email. So following that join link, then you can access the support portal in Vardin.com. So Vardin.com is the main source for delivering the support. So let's see if I can go here to my view. So this is what you can see from the vardin.com slash account in this case. So this is my account, a simple empty one. And what I have here is the expre express support. So the express support is another term. I think this was meant just a small support option where you can only take like a few yes. hours and that. Yes, that is it. what we are now using as a giveaway as two, two yeah. hours express support. Right, package. that was the one, right. So this is how you can see that, you know, got, you've got a few options here, you know, you can update your profile, of course, you know, you have to, you know, exist in the Vardin.com to enjoy this type of service. Uh, you can fine tune what email alerts you're going to get from Vardin.com and also the, uh, the subscription that I have, in this case, only the express support and what users are included uh, in this my subscription. So here is the join link. So this is something that you're going to get. Uh, via email for your own uh, subscription later on. But let's go to the support. So this is the uh, the support view, right? That I'm gonna I'm getting when I'm accessing the support here. So it's easy as that just to create a, a new request. So this system is a pretty kind of by the idea the sim similar to many ticketing systems like Jira and so forth. Uh, the difference is that this is made by ourselves uh, uh, to, according to the process what we have. But anyway, if you have used any ticketing system, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's fairly really, straightforward. Yeah, I think it's like you know, really typical uh, business as usual type of thing. Uh, so, so what I actually have here, I went and uh, found out uh, one, one simple example from my existing one. So I'm going to use that, I'll explain it to you guys. So what we have here, let's see if we can see that a bit better maybe. So this is, I guess, to confirm, the questions about table and grid are pretty typical, I guess, yeah. for the support yes. at the moment. Those are kind of very fundamental components in the framework. So yeah. So in this case here, uh, the question was from the, uh, the customer, you know, okay, they want to use the grid because they have a lot of data. And the table seemed to be a bit too slow on the use case that they had. But also they would like to have some, I don't know, uh, graphical elements in the, uh, the cells of the grid. Yeah. The table supported that uh, in a more straightforward manner. And they would like to use the grid, but there are some limitations. So what, what should they do? So what, what could we you know, propose to them? So this is the question. So maybe if I'll just go out and uh, submit it. So what I have to do here, uh, I have to just say what type this whole thing is. I guess this could be, uh, what would you call it? Uh, Hands-on help maybe? Uh, Hands-on help or architecture sparring was, could, could be. Okay, let's, let's try that. Yeah. And for Vardin, I will just put Vardin 7.x. Yeah. And use here. good to note is also that in this particular question, it is not needed, but very often you need to provide additional information, so not just sex, so we can, we can uh, uh, support uh, multiple attachments here. So right. there's this upload button uh, for that purpose. Here. So you can add attachments 
screenshots uh, you are wireframes in case you have a kind of a trouble or bug, uh, uh, bug issue you can put the demo application replicating the issue there yeah uh, anything right, right and also you can uh, leave your phone or skype uh, contact there we are regularly using also skype yeah. uh, for screen sharing i i think phone Although we, for example, have a phone uh, phone line uh, uh, for our platinum customers that is quite rarely used because, you know, in programming, <laughs> how you can explain programming on the, over the phone, yeah. the technical issues True. are too complicated. But with Skype and screen sharing, it's much more straightforward. Nice. Okay. And of, of, of course, more we get the data, data beforehand, uh, uh, easier us. For us, is of course to get get on the on the pulse. Yeah, of what is happening there? Yeah. Okay, and also this is one thing to note here that this is the typical way how how you guys handle this. Okay, so uh, by default, if someone asks a lot, in a sense, so, yeah. so expecting to do quite a lot of you uh, from you know from the team, uh, if it will take more than two hours. You guys gonna ask first that I really wanna use your time for this or not? Yes, the customer needs to be always in control. In yeah. the so this is a little bit different than uh, some other kind of uh, services that we kind of uh, pre-charge mm. you for the hours. So you need to be in the control of how your hours will be used. Yeah. So right. that that is the idea there. But uh, when you do the do the uh, request, you give first kind of the first authority is for two hours. Mm. Typically, uh, we do it in a step that we first check the what's there. It may take 15 minutes or 45 minutes, depending on how much material you provide to us. Mm. And we need to study the material and uh, start working on, on that. And if we clearly see that already in the beginning that it's a sizable thing, mm. Then we of course uh, give give you an estimate, uh, low estimate, high estimate that how much it would take time, mm. and there's a, even a, a feel for that, and uh, uh, then put it on hold uh, on your on the cust customer side to decide that uh, uh, whether they want to accept the work effort. Mm, right. And after they have accepted it, we, we cont continue and so yeah. forth. Okay. Okay. So basically, but but uh, the customer here, the uh, the support user itself, can always control how those hours are being used. For example, writing it in the request. That could you, you know, you know, provide more guidance how to define a good request. For example, things like that. Yeah. Before you actually, you know, the the quota is consumed. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. So let's see if I submit this one. So what, how the whole thing looks like after that. So let's go and see my list. I actually have two here, uh, two requests that I've done so far. And I have less than an hour. I only got two hours loaded to my subscription here for the support. I already used some of it in, uh, in an earlier ticket. But now I have uh, less than an hour is left here. So while, while Tatu goes out and gives, gives a uh, response to my request, I can see, show the, uh, the previous one that we had. Uh, this is something, uh, again, quite typical that is asked. Could we do a mentoring video call uh, next week, for example? They have a few topics in mind that I want to discuss. And uh, this is done via video, connect, video call with Skype or something, right? For example, that could, yeah. could be. So that's, uh, that's the whole thing. And the, uh, at the bottom, you can see uh, what was basically going on during the uh, solving of this ticket. This was just a mentoring request. And uh, at the end, I give some feedback. I say that, OK, this is closed, the, the whole ticket here. And uh, that's, it. that's it. Really straightforward stuff. Nothing traumatic in using the actual support. Yes. So how is your response coming along? 
It's very quick since I brought it beforehand. Ah, you cheated a bit. <laughs> yeah. No, we just but wanted anyway. to we just wanted to save your time. <laughs> yes. Typically in these kind of cases uh, you would expect uh, it would take uh, uh, some time before getting getting the answer. First of all, in uh, for example, like in the silver support package, we have this up to two days response time. Actually, yeah. we in most cases we can answer actually within a day. Yeah, right. But, but so know. it's the maximum limit. The SLA is is you know yeah. a maximum limit. So yeah. until that, you will get. So we are shortening response. now the time. So yeah. I have an answer prepared uh, already. Already. Yeah. And so. What now is ha happening in behind the scenes is that we are we are getting getting this request. Our team is uh, seeing it, and we try to uh, assign it to the person who knows that topic best. Mm. Right. Or in some even special cases, use outside members or also other people in the company do occasionally support services. Not our, not just our okay. support team. So basically, the support team has access to everyone working at Vardin. So yeah. if there's some uh, really deep um, functionality in the, uh, I don't know, the Vardin framework, like uh, server push or something, we can yeah. talk to the guy that actually wrote it, yeah. right? Yes. In my team, we actually know already pretty much because we are doing this on a daily, daily basis and we yeah. are providing something like 70% of the all yeah. support cases. From our team, but something like thirty percent comes from the other experts because we we have something. Like our headcount is nowadays hundred, yeah, and some yeah. and some like seventy five of them are developers. Yeah, so there's a lot of different kind of developers. They are different kind of expertise, so we can mm. leverage from that. Right, and we are learning every day. Of course, yeah, you should actually <laughs> by doing this. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. And. Um, so I. Okay, so you have now submitted an answer there. So there yeah. comes an email notification to your subscription. But if I go and update here while I'm sitting on the page, basically. So let's see what has happened. At the end, I can see that Tattoo gave me an answer. And uh, well, you could summarize your answer in this case. Yes. What do you think would be a good way to, to proceed? Well, uh, the, this is was kind of a typical ca case that actually techno from technology wise, almost everything is possible. Mm. But uh, uh, for, for example, uh, in, in Creed, you can uh, add almost anything to the, to the cells with renderers. And mm. we are we in support, uh, we have done also some custom renderers mm. to our uh, cust customers. Yeah. Uh, so that can be sometimes the way to do. So we can do that in that way, a similar thing that with the generated columns in the table and mm. putting and putting uh, components there. Yeah. And there, there is even nowadays uh, some renderers already uh, in directory and mm. even, even component renderer, kind of an experimental one. Uh, so our com community also pr provides uh, offerings. So we are in support also referring mm. typically uh, if we if we know that there's something uh, readily available right that we also know the, uh, as an option yeah and um, and then also the uh, design options that may maybe for example chart is very uh, heavy component mm. uh, there's a lot of stuff in chart so yeah. which means that it's uh, needs some processing time to render Mm, so if course. you have, say, uh, very many charts on your uh, screen at the same time, it may be not the wisest option mm, from the okay. performance perspective. So we are here offer uh, alternatives that you could put the chart in the details generator if it's a small, small one. But if it's large one, mm. uh, it really containing a lot of data points and so forth, it's a really, a really big one, then perhaps the having it in separate window or in some other master detail pattern uh, mm. UI could be a wiser option. So okay. th th these, these kind of questions mm. uh, are typical in the early phase of the software development. That, yeah. uh, okay. When you want to know, know and get a little bit sparing that 
uh, what would be the suitable way to uh, use the facilities what we have in the framework. Mm, okay, okay. All right, so basically this is you know, a typical way that it goes. So narrowing down to the correct choice for this yeah. particular of course, we project. Don't, we don't make the decision from the customer's behalf, but we are trying to, uh, in these kind of uh, scenarios, we try to provide the information that you have a good information to decide from. Right. And if you, after the decision, you need uh, further assistance, we also then doing yeah. that. Okay, okay. For example, if you need, need, need us to, you want to outsource the implementation, for example, customer render or some uh, component extension and that kind of mm. things to us. Okay. Okay, but anyway, it's, it's many ways to go there. I could go here and uh, continue the discussion with Tattoo, but obviously that would be a bit boring for you guys, maybe. So uh, I'll just go here, you know, so I accept the uh, delivery. So yes. I got enough. As, as, as seen in that, uh, on the screen, I had updated the status to the oh, yeah. waiting True for here. acceptance. That yeah. is a signal that I think that uh, in this, uh, this phase, perhaps this answers the question that was in, at hand. Yeah. And, and you can also see here that the spend time for the ticket is also counting. So you actually, you know, put in the little time so that we can see the change here. So yeah. as the you know whole thing goes forward, when of course the customer is still in charge of the whole yeah. thing. Uh, but here you can see how much time is, is used for this issue so far. Yeah. When we are starting to implement really some uh, do some coding, uh, of course, then we are uh, then time starts to fly. Yeah, of course, so, yeah. so to speak. But for that purpose, we are selling packages uh, with larger quotas when the customers uh, mm. already know beforehand that they yeah. have a uh, they expect that they have a need to, yeah. to say that they buy right uh, i think last year uh, the for one customer we even delivered some 150 hours mm. okay that okay. was perhaps the one of the biggest customers in support okay and then we have some other customers that they, they use only the Something like 10 to 20. Yeah. Everything between that. Okay. There's a lot of very variety of. Yes, because the need, needs are different. Of course. And that's why we have different these different uh, package options there also. Okay. Good. So um, I think I'll just uh, go forward with the whole thing and accept the delivery. So what yeah. this means, it's this uh, issue is now closed and uh, yeah, all is all is pretty much clear. And then there's the option also that you can rate uh, the service. Oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome, it was. Yeah. And submit changes. Okay. So that's how you use the support in, in short. But all of you guys at the audience, when you sign up, you get the join link to the support. This is what you're gonna see. This is how you're gonna uh, use the support, but I would just say that go out there, sign up and start filing in your support requests and Tatu and his team will be taking care of you. And whatever you have on the table right now, whether it being a request for mentoring or you want a discussion or you want to verify your own ideas with the team, do that. Or you are suspecting that there's a bug or you can't get the theming right. That's, I guess, pretty the typical. Theming is one of a uh, very yeah. common topic that yeah. we get questions for. Yeah. And it's sometimes it is very difficult to say uh, from the scratch when you have an issue that whether it is a bug in your own code or in framework. Yeah. Because sometimes things are complicated. If you are already kind of uh, uh, quite far ahead with uh, uh, in, in your de uh, development work. Mm. And of course, then we can provide a valuable assistance, uh, verify that, I I is it on your side or mm. uh, our side? Yeah. And we have usually also quite up-to-date information that what are the kind of current, current outstanding issues that are uh, being un currently being in, uh, in implementation, new things coming mm. uh, in framework, new features coming uh, yeah. or something that are currently uh, being fixed or yeah. just being fixed. That we sometimes get questions that, hey, I have this kind of bug mm. and, uh, 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 in framework. And then the answer is that actually the, we, we have the uh, version uh, that we released one month ago having the fix. 
Mm, okay, right. <laughs> That's good. Good. <laughs> or yes, or yeah. in, in some cases that we we, we have it. Uh, the version that has the fix coming in one month's time. Mm, okay. We know that it's it, uh, it's in the sprint that know. our framework team is doing doing now. So we are cons we are uh, communicating with the framework team on a daily basis. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. But I think it's it's start for the audience to sign up and start using the support. So whatever is on your mind at the moment, what's on your table, what what you have in mind. Sign up, post your questions, and uh, Tato and the team will be answering those. So the link is is this one, varin.com uh, slash support dash week, free support week. All we need is your email uh, and your uh, email address is pretty much the only thing what we need or the company, company info. And uh, when you file in, we'll get 51st yeah. are getting in. And uh, those will get a join link to the support. And uh, you can join, sign up for the free support uh, until the end of day tomorrow, right? Yes. End of Tuesday. And we promised that at the end of the week, we have cleared every one of you that have uh, signed up and uh, try to use, uh, give it a spin for the support. Everything is resolved until Friday. And a busy week, I guess you're gonna have. Yes, it will be very busy. We have yeah. reserved extra manpower. <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear. This. Good to hear. Okay, so there's already the resources reserved for you. Go out there and use them. Okay, I don't have anything else. Uh, do you, anything you wanna add at this point still? Uh, no. I think I, it's. I think, I think it's covered. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's all done. I'm actually eager. Eager. Wait, uh, because. In addition, this is marketing for us. It's also, again, a very good uh, learning possibility for us. Right, right. Yeah. So the challenge accept accepted, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tatu wants to learn new things. <laughs> yes, I'm my team, actually. I'm not doing that much yeah. support. Okay. Occasionally only. So go out there and teach Tatu a lesson, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone. So uh, see you at the uh, support portal at button.com later. And you're going to get the emails and the blog post where you can find the links. So don't worry if you didn't write down the link, so you're gonna get it anyways. All yeah. right, yeah. see you soon again. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.